You know, the world of English is a fun and exciting place to be. I'm so glad you could join me for another lesson. Hi everybody, this is Mr. Duncan in England. How are you today? Are you okay? I hope so. Are you happy? I hope so. In my last lesson, if you remember, I set a question for you. I asked you to name the English word that has the most definitions and uses within a sentence. It's time now to give you the answer to the question. The word with the most definitions and uses according to the Oxford English Dictionary is with 464 uses and definitions the word set. Did you get it right? I hope so. But don't worry if you didn't. In today's lesson, we will take a look at one of the many exceptional situations that exist within the English language. In this case, where a noun can also be used as a verb. As you know, a noun is a word that is used to show the name of an object. It is a naming word. For most of the time, nouns can only be used in the context of naming something. However, there are situations where a noun can magically transform itself into a verb. A naming word becomes a doing word. <laughs> That's a really funny story. I'll tell you another one tomorrow. Here are some examples of the magical transformation between a noun and a verb. In my hand I have a brush. Brush is a noun. It describes this object. However, it can also be used as a verb. When I brush my long and beautiful and silky hair. Wow! Yeah! Wow! I'm enjoying this. Oh, that's so much better. <laughs> so the word brush can also be used as a verb. I brush my hair. Another simple example for you now. Pen. Pen is a noun. It describes this object, as you can see. But also, pen can be a verb. When I pen a letter to my friend, I will pen a story. You can use the word pen as both a noun and a verb. <coughs> There are many examples of where a noun becomes a verb, such as bag, dress, drill, film, fish, groom, hand, hose, key, lock, mop. Phone, pipe, polish, 
break. Run. Saw. Shower. Slide. Spray. Study. Tap. Vacuum. Vault. War. It's worth remembering not all nouns can be used as verbs, and not all verbs can be used as nouns. Before I finish my lesson, I would like to say a special hello to all my new friends watching in Saudi Arabia, Hungary, Taiwan, Portugal, Chile, and Iran. Thank you very much for watching all of my lessons. This is Mr. Duncan in England giving you a wave and saying I hope you can watch me again soon. Bye bye for now.